What's up everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make a vertical jig with a prop. And it's very similar to the VMC chandelier jig, which I have a tutorial on how you can make that. But you actually add some propellers on it, okay? I think I'm just gonna call this the helicopter ice fishing jig. I don't know, you guys leave me a comment below. I can change the title whenever I feel like it. But uh, I think the chopper jig sounds pretty cool, eh? But uh, this is a vertical ice fishing jig, as you can see here. However, you can actually place the weight in a different way and you can actually use it as a casting. So let's just hold these two up for a second. You guys take a look at, a good look at it. Now, if you like vertical jigging, you put the cone pointing downward this way. And if you want to cast and retrieve for trout and crappies, you would do it this way. And now guys, don't go too crazy. All right. See this right here? I went crazy. And I put one down here, put one up here. I mean, you can, but I would suggest maybe a couple more beads at the bottom because what's going to happen is your hook may swing up high enough and get caught on to your prop. But anyway, guys, let's get this tutorial started. All right, guys, let's go over the materials that we'll be using for today's project. Note, you can find all these stuff in the description below. And some of these things are affiliate links. And if you guys buy with these affiliate links, you guys are basically supporting my channel. And with that said, I thank you for that. But anyway, let's jump right into it. Obviously, this is a wire bending project. So we have some wires and some uh, wire bending tools. So uh, this is my wire bending tool, right? Uh, multiple uh, diameters so you guys can make whatever di diameter loops and bends you need. Plain old needles, pliers, and this one has a wire cutter here, but I still recommend using a wire cutter. So guys, I found some good cheap wires at Rock Island. Uh, I bought these on eBay, so you see the links below. You see two different sizes here. If you guys catching small fish, making small lures for ice fishing, some crappies, some trout, this should be okay. This is a 0.026 inch diameter, and this is an eight inch, and this one actually have a loop. Um, depending on your project, you may want to cut it off because the loop might be too big. And if you guys are going for bigger fish, I do recommend at least using this size here, 0.031, and this comes in six inches. Next, let's talk about weights. We'll be using cone weights here. I have uh, all 16th ounce here, depending on you know, how deep the water you're fishing, you may want to use uh, heavier ones, but I want to point out two different things here. First, this is lead, okay, and I painted myself, so you need a tutorial on how to paint your lead uh, cone weights. You guys check out the top right-hand corner. And the right one here is tungsten, and again, these both are 16th ounce. And uh, you see that the tungsten one is a lot smaller, a lot denser. So if you guys want to use uh, tungsten, it actually sinks faster because it's just uh, less drag going through the water. Next, we got some propeller blades. This is the key part of this project here, is these blades here. Now, this is your tra traditional style pro propellers, as you can see here, okay? And then this propeller have uh, one weird side to it, which I think it makes things spin better. And uh, Count Bass is uh, the one with the weird propeller. It doesn't say the size here, but I'm assuming the size is similar to this one here. Uh, this is a size three. Okay, and I got this plain one from Jan's Net Craft. Lastly, you will need some fishing beads, or you can use metallic beads if you want, but these beads basically sits in between the lure, allowing it to spin. All right, guys, so I have opted to use the thinner diameter for today, the 0 0.206, and I actually have cut off the end piece. And um, I mentioned to you guys earlier that this specific one, it comes with a loop at the end already, right? I feel that the loop is too big and with my bending pliers here, the second one right here doesn't actually really match it. And I can show you guys right here. This guy I made, this guy I came with. The second step is way too big. And if you take a look at the smallest step that I have right here, it's way too small. So it's best to just cut it off. So let's recreate the loop. Okay, first thing you wanna do Put it nice and tight. We're gonna be using the smallest guy right there. Bend it down about, about that much, not 100% 90 degrees. And uh, the reason why is you wanna flip it back around this way. You're gonna make the, the loop onto the main remainder part of the shaft. 
Okay, so you have that like this, and then you wanna bend probably just a little bit more. There we go. Then once you get past here, just like that, you wanna bend it back just a little bit. You bend it back on this edge right there. So as you see, the loop looks a little bit prettier, but it's not necessary, okay? So we take our needle nose pliers, clamp down really nice, right at where they intersect. Bend one and at least one and a half turns. Okay, here we go. Take your wire cutters, cut that, dispose of that point properly. All right guys, next you can either put the cone on or you add a bead. I think I'm gonna add a bead for this specific one since I made a few without them already. These beads here, some of them glow in the dark, some of them fluorescent. This guy here is glow in the dark. So I'm gonna take this guy here and put it on just like that. Next, we'll put the weight in and we'll put it upside down. We want the Lord to drop down fast. So there we go, oh, here we go. Then you pick the next two colors. I'm gonna pick uh, chartreuse-ish, yellowish on top, just like that. There we go. Next, we'll pick a blade. I'm gonna pick this one here because I like how the blade looks like. Very cool. Now, here, this is how it looks like. This guy right here needs to sit on top of ball and this should be basically, this is the top, this is the bottom, okay? You can see, again, you can see by looking at there, okay? It's rounded inwards and the top part is rounded outwards. So insert it this way. So it looks like that. Then you take your next bead. Since I used yellow there, we use a pink, pink one, fluorescent pink. Presto. Now we'll do the final bend and guys make sure this thing is aligned, okay? You wanna make sure this guy here it both loops align, and what I mean is this. Take a look at this one here. The, you see both circles here, the loops, but when I rotate it this way, you don't see it. This is what I call streamlined loops. If you have one this way and one this way, it might not, that might cause extra drag, at least that's my belief. So to make your loops streamlined, you wanna make sure you clamp it properly on your bending pliers. You don't want to do it this way. You see the loop this way because you're actually bending this way, okay? So what you want to do is rotate this guy here, make it look like that, okay? The loops are facing left and right. Then you do your first bend out this way, rotate it backwards, okay? Still having the whole thing facing you this way, okay? Clamp onto this end piece, bend forward all the way around. Then shift your pliers a little bit. This way, see this? It started right this. We'll put it this way. Bend some more. So that is about 90 degrees onto the main shank. Now, take your needle nose pliers, clamp down well. Wrap it again about one and a half to two times. that off inspect your lure make sure it's streamlined if not you can take two pliers and just basically twist it to where you need it to be it looks pretty streamlined to me so here you go this is it so there you have it guys that's my tutorial on how to do the, the chopper jig okay let me know in the comments below what you guys will be doing likely it's still winter here so i'm assuming a, a lot of people are going to be doing the the ice jig version so you guys will be vertical jigging and uh, pretty soon in spring, people will be using this one right here, casting for trout. Leave me a comment below what you guys will be using. I thank you guys for watching. Peace out.